So, hi everyone, as you can see by the name, and by the thing I have right here in my hand, this is on the Spady backpack uh, that I've made previously. You can see this is going to be the whole process video on how I'm making the body, the base, the flap, how to attach the clip, and also making your spider straps. So the web straps right here, made from a la uh, white elasticated straps. It's a fully functional backpack with things in it. Okay, so they open up here like that, and I have masks in here, you know, you can fit about three masks, web shooters, whatever you want acts as a back spader also for your spady suit. So this is the whole process video for that, made out of Peltax, cardboard, and just some red fabric, and a trusty hot glue gun. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Here we are with the video. So, hi guys, this is the backpack you can see here. I have the base, that's just gonna be covered up with Peltex, just the cardboard's here to strengthen it up. But you can see, I've just, I haven't did anything with the front piece. I've literally just molded it to the cardboard, so it doesn't matter kinda really what shape, as long as you get a general shape going. You can see I have the opening in here, and it, cur it has a nice body to it. You can see it has a nice, you know, curved body. And here at the bottom, all I have to do is just press it in here, and it'll have its full shape. Okay, so just like that, you can see I have a full body thing. So now we're just gonna make the flap. 
to go over and that'll be us for the whole base then we'll wrap it in red fabric then we'll draw on the eight legs and that's us we'll not draw them on we'll stick them on on each side but if you just want to use your paper base fold that in half so you get an even symmetrical side for each side of the curve i'm going to be sticking this to a base of peltex just to make sure that it's you know nice and stiff and firm i'm not going to stiffen this up i may put a piece of cardboard here and here just to make sure that it's all strengthened but i'll show you that guys in the video and here we are with the rest So, hi everyone, you'll probably hear uh, the PlayStation in the background, I do apologize for that. But you can just see here we have our front base. So here is actually the front base right here that we cut first. And I've just put a piece of Peltax on the other side so that when I do wrap it, you know, it's still stiff, it's sturdy. Uh, that thing is actually quite strengthened. And again with our front base, so that's just going to go on here to give us our whole body build. And on the inside of the body, I have just glued the pieces of cardboard. And you can see it gives it that curve. So before it was just flimsy Peltex, you know, didn't have much strength to it. But right now, you can, it has a full body. It just stays like that. Gives it a nice curve if you just put the cardboard, if you want to give it, you know, some bends. I would say cut it this way, you know, where the lanes actually go down the card. I wouldn't do it this way because you can see I have a lot of cracks in here. But yeah, with the card, try and maybe bend with the curve, cut toward the curve towards the curve and getting a lot of tongue twister but you can use this again make it any size if you want to make it square if you want to make it triangle go for it but uh if you want to make it bigger you would just have to make the body a lot bigger so build out here and here you know so that it maybe you know build out to around here you would have a lot of room like that mine is quite small so it's just going to go in here i'll maybe have a mask or two in there then we're going to get to making the flap and we're going to get on to making the straps thank you guys and again this can be used for many multiple backpacks it doesn't have to be used for a spider man but that's what i'm using it for thanks for watching so far oh,
So what's up everyone, you can see the layout here that we have for the spider backpack. Four legs on each side wrapped in the red fabric using cardboard and Peltex that I've already said. Then we have the flap with the bolt button that's just going to go on top. The elasticated straps here at the back that I've just shown you there. Now, elast these can be any kind of size. These can be, they don't have to be elasticated straps either, guys. They can be, you know, whatever you want, just as long as they're thin pieces or whatever. I mean, we could have used this. But what we're going to do is take the white elasticated string or straps. Again, you can use white string, you can use knitting thread, whatever you want to resemble your uh, web pattern. Most people, I think, they use the wool or the kind of cotton wool. But yep, what we're going to do is take one strand, and I think that's big enough. This is again elasticated so it stretches, but that's big enough for one side. And I'm going to double it over like that so that I get two strands on each side. Now again, they're big enough for one strap. Then I'll take it here and cut it off. So here we are. I have one strand that I have doubled over and I'll put a knot or if you want to glue it, sell tape it. It's completely up to you guys what I'm going to do is be tying it right here and then I'll just be doubling and wrapping this around you know layering it up but I'll make sure I want to put a stop here so that it does stop somewhere so maybe tie a knot or use a glue gun mine's is heating up at the minute so yep that's just gonna be tied in right there and we'll come back when I have this all finished up and done so let's see like that so there we go so it's just like a circle We'll double it over and if you want actually you can put a tie here and at the top so that it actually you know it doesn't fold over on itself or you could again you can glue it or put a bit of tape so that's not a good tie but i just wrapped it around multiple times until i got a you know it stopped somewhere so there we are now that's going to be one strap for the backpack so then what we're going to do is take this now again you can use different canes that's what i did with these straps right here this is a polyester white I think just a normal strap, then a thicker elasticated strap. So I think there's three to four different kinds of weight, string and strapping within this just one strap for a backpack alone. That's a lot of straps, you know. So if you find weight thin, again, knitting thread, cotton, string, whatever you want, use a lot of it, wrap it up multiple layers so that you get different effects, different tones, you know, build ups to the actual thing. And this is where it's gonna take time. So I'm actually going to be doing this guys for you, but look, I'm just taking it, wrapping it around piece by piece, laying it around like spirals, or if you want to actually get it, you know, you can do this. So you just start throwing it around the actual string so that you're not spending all that time wrapping it around in a circle. Many different methods if you actually want to put a nail, if you want to put a nail into uh, the desk, or if you want to tape it down into the desk, you can do it like you would braid something. So that's basically what we're actually doing here. We're going to be braiding. So if you're good at her and her dressing, maybe ask your mother or your sister. I don't know, but just wrapping it around multiple times and building it up. We're going to be tying knots in and around it as well so that we get these really big buildups. So I'll show you, for example, you can just see here this big knot that I have within this strap. And that's just for a buildup of webs, different layers. And yeah, you can do it for any kind of, you know, a web belt, a web cartridges, web backpacks, web bombs. If you just get string and wrap it around multiple times around different shapes, you could make, make web lenses if you wanted to, you know. <laughs> um, completely up to you guys. We're just going to be making these web straps. We'll come back when they're finished and done. And hopefully that has helped you. And I'll show you the middle start and end of the web straps. So, hi everyone. You can see here we have the string down now once we've wrapped it around a few times you can see it just comes undone so i have about three or four strands here from the initial one strap that we made i've tied some knots here so that it just stops you know but this is what you're going to eventually end up with all of it's going to come loose so we're going to take some glue tie some knots and then start wrapping more and this is what you'll get so you can just see here at the top half, I've showed you the complete difference down here. It's just straight uh, ragged. Then we have the whole tied knots and looped pieces, uh, the giant bunches of wrap and the string that I've wrapped around. So I've just used glue here to fasten it down, wrapped it around multiple times, tied it off. Again, just placed some glue in and around here in the middle and then just twisted it like this. Just twisted it with my finger, let the glue settle and you can see here that it'll stick just like this. Uh, 
it's sort of spaghetti webbing, like if you've seen Todd McFarlane's artwork. It's complete madness and chaos, so yours doesn't have to have any formity or symmetry to it. That's the good thing about making the two straps. They're not going to be exactly the same, but what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you in some time lapse, me wrapping it around and using some glue here to make it thicker. So I'm just going to start putting some glue on the inside, twisting it around, let it harden up so that it gets that nice twist in it and then wrapping around multiple layers around that and that's what you'll get guys so just keep doing that it's very time consuming so if you want to watch a movie or put on some music that's completely up to you but yeah again you can use string cotton knitting uh string whatever you want but here we are i'm using weight elasticated strap and this is the strapping So you can see here we have two straps so I just did one the exact same way I did the other you can see the bottom is again loosely I haven't glued anything I haven't fastened it down but this one I've tied knots in the bottom I've made sure it's just looks like one strand and one string so you get multiple strings or multiple strands of whatever you want weight whatever and just tighten knots multiple layers do whatever kind of design you want wrap around put glue in places whatever but i actually really like how it looks uh the multiple you know just bunched up knots and the layers in it so i'm going to put a few more uh i've left the two ends you know just a bit frayed so that i can glue those together they're not tied knots and i can just glue those to one corner here and another here so you can just see both ends are slightly frayed we'll glue those together bunch it all up but yeah this one is slightly thinner base so you can see in the top here and get them really into the layers i'm starting to wrap it around again more guys you can use this for any kind if you want to make you know webbing coming out of your web shooters you know for pictures if you want to use it for kind of photo shoots to make a giant long one so it looks like a strand of webbing that you're swinging on all up to you again this is elasticated uh straps so it's brilliant for actual webbing if you do want to use it for photo shoots i plan on using it in the future but this is just my prop made uh webbing so yeah here we are with the rest of the video we're going to get into the rest of the backpack doing the detailing and gluing on all the legs once these straps are done thanks for watching so far guys and here we are with the rest of the video <laughs> So here we are guys, I have glued on one section of the spider legs like so, so I have the top one here, but the other section is glued on. So you can see the sort of format that I went with, it's good to get one side on and then you know where you're working with, with the other. 
So if you actually want to do this, you can actually maybe, you know, just draw lines to line these up, get a ruler, get a straight line, you know, draw it where they meet up. But what I'm going to do is just simply place them like so. I know how much they're in and what sort of what kind of shape they're going at. I'm just going to be using the trusty glue gun and gluing those in place. But the buckle clip works, you can just see here, and then you use the Velcro. Both of those sections come up like that. I love the way it opens up, you know. So if you want to have a spider suit, if you want to have your spider masks in here, that all works. But clips into place like that. The last piece what we're going to be doing is putting on the web straps. And I'll show you once I've glued these on, just like that. But I want to just show you before, you know, I just glue them on one by one. I don't, you know, have any kind of pattern or preference to it. I do it how it comes and feels naturally. So I'm gonna go down here, get changed right now, guys. You'll see me right here and I'll show you the backpack once it's done and then we'll glue on the straps. So, hi everyone. You can see we have the spider backpack with all the spider legs glued on. Now they're glued on just at the back and secured slightly. So I've just slightly put a bit more glue on each edge just to strengthen those up, make sure they don't come off. Again, it works perfect. I'm gonna be covering up the inside of the flap here and on the inside of the cardboard there you can maybe do that before you glue everything together but i just wanted to get it so that you guys could see it so we have both of our web straps right here i love how they turned out both of them have nice nuts and loops in them they both do not look the same but they do look like both web strands and what i'm going to do is just take some straps here it's not elasticated by any means it's just some black strapping some tactical gear it looks like stuff that you would get with actually some sports gear and I'm just going to place them here and just slightly glue it over. So I'm going to glue the top right here. Place this over on top of it just to make it a bit more strengthened. I'm going to do that with each head. So let's get into it. So, what's up everyone? Uh, you can see the backpack here. I have glued on the straps and I've just, you know, put some extra strapping here at the bottom. Two straps on each piece. Just to make sure it's secured on, I've tried it on. It does fit around my shoulders really nice the way I like it. But around here in the bottom, what I've did is just got a piece of cardboard and folded it in half. You can see if I pop this out right here, we can see into the backpack or on the bottom. So all I've done is got a piece of cardboard you can see the remainder of it here and folded it in half it's like sort of like an arrow shape so once I got one side I unfolded it and you can just see it creates that shape now you can sort of manipulate cardboard I can certainly manipulate this Peltex and cardboard combo yeah usually if you have some malleable cardboard you can just sort of manipulate that weaken it down sort of like I've done curve this so that's just gonna pop in here like that once I wrap it in the red Again, you can just see I can pull out the back and make that fit in really nice. So that just fits into place like right there. Once I glue that in, that'll be nice and secure for my backpack. And that is it. I've added an extra bolt on top of here just to give it an extra feature. All in all, I'm happy with it. I'm about to wrap this bottom piece and this is the backpack. I'll try it on and show you guys. Thank you so much for watching so far and here we are at the end of the video. So hi everyone, this is the end of the video and this is the Spidey backpack. So you can just see here I put on the mask. This can hold around two to three masks, I think, web shooters, the whole lot. So if you want to just make it bigger, smaller, completely up to you in your design. If you want to change the leg sizes, that's completely up to you again, but it's made from cardboard and Peltex. So yeah, add on the John Sport if you want to go full Amazing Spider-Man. The straps, like that, that will throw around the shoulder. And yeah. It fits on perfect. I love how it looks. The web straps, they suit the design really good. I'm gonna cover in here on the inside so that it doesn't overlap. But you can go for the one strap design. Again, the spider web doesn't have to be elaborate, symmetrical. It's completely up to you. But yeah, I love how the straps look with any kind of spidey suit. You can make them for props for web shooters, swinging webs, completely up to you. If you wanna know how to make the mask, you can go and watch the other process videos. But it looks really good. I love if you don't want to make a spider on the back like I did back in the day. I was too lazy, so I just I went and made the spidey backpack. But the spidey webs and the web straps there just something that 
I want to incorporate into something new and I love how they turned out. So guys, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you did, check out all the other process videos from me, everyone here in Ireland. Always after Geek Speak, please subscribe and comment. And this does not have to be used just for Spider-Man. So if you want to use this for any other kind of backpack, if you want to, again, like I say, go Amazing Spider-Man and put a John Sport on the front there, that's completely up to you. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully this has helped you, and I've been trying to be Spider-Man with his backpack and his web straps that are like braces. Bye, guys.